Okay, so these are um, <coughs> uh, ramps I'm making for uh, Meeple. This is um, for Dottie. It's four inches wide, and she has a big tumor, so uh, this has the border so that when she's going up, her little lump can hang off the edge and not go bump, bump, bump over every little piece of wood that's a step, because I don't want it to irritate her skin too much. And then likewise, when she comes down the ladder, her lump will be hanging off the other side. At least that gives it more leeway, and it can just ride smooth on this smooth wood, and not go ba-dump, 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 ba-dump. It, which it would do if I had those running all the way across. So they're just um, one popsicle stick in depth right now, which is enough for a toe hold for a mouse. Uh, and the angle is not going to be steep. It's going to be maybe um, this kind of angle you're looking at right here. So it should be no more than a 15 degree incline, maybe 10%, or 10 degree, I mean, is more likely. Depends how much. Uh, footprint I can free up in the cage, <clears throat> in the tank, I mean, if she has trouble getting a grip on this, I'll double these up so they have a little bigger height, but I think that should be okay, so we'll see how that goes, and then this one is for Fred, I'm going to put him in an arrangement where he might have a second level to go to, and I want him to be able to run up this ramp and get up there, and Fred doesn't have a very good grip, and his little legs aren't very strong, so he couldn't possibly navigate this ladder by himself. He tries, he struggles, and he won't make it. So it's just to give him regular footing, solid footing, and uh, then the rungs periodically spaced so he has better grip. And also then, uh, when Fred passes away, I can use this for girls. I had a similar one to this made for my ASFRAT, my ASF rat, Ernie, when she could no longer walk. Her hind end didn't work too well, and uh, she she managed okay with this kind of base-supported ladder. So there you go. So that's, that's for my Fred project and future Meeple use. Uh, it's very askew because I did it very hastily, and I'm all over the place with the borders, but uh, it, it basically works, or should work okay, so... Uh, in Ernie's case, I built guardrails because she had a difficulty walking in a straight line, and I didn't want her falling off at some odd moment. So I had actually built a line of popsicle stick guardrails along the side, along both sides. I don't think any of my current uh, critters need that kind of assistance, but if they do, I will add them. But for right now, this is the uh, this is the old lady ramp, and this is the handicapped access ramp <laughs> for Dottie. So there we go. And I'm going to shuffle everybody around in the next day or two and rearrange everybody's habitats and uh, get some use out of these ramps. So hope Dottie likes her new toy. And I'm also going to be making some ramps so the girls can come out of the tank and visit me on my desk. So that's going to be like a ramp up to the lid and then a little landing platform and then a ramp down to my desktop so they can come and go as they like while I'm working at my desk. So I look forward to that too. That's my ramps. Those are the ramps. Bye.